has been there, has shown up in all of his glory, whether it's the time that he showed up as a, as a pillar of flame or whether it was when he drove them out of the temple when the temple was dedicated, God showed up and they praised the Lord. Isaiah has been preparing them for something even greater than those times. They knew those times in their history, but Isaiah is saying something even better will come. He says, therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. A virgin will conceive and bear a son, and you will call his name Emmanuel. He goes on to say, for unto us a child is born, and to us, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And then he says in the previous chapter, in that day the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a banner for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire. Isaiah is telling us that there is great things that God is doing. And the greatest of all was sending his son, Jesus Christ, into this world. And we ought to make that known to the entire world. Until the day of our Lord's return, who's going to sing those songs? If not us. How is Tecumseh going to hear the word of God unless we sing, unless we tell, unless we make known all that God has done? We are here, and God has given us. Scrooge, well, Scrooge's nephew said, What reason have you, be, have you to be dismal? What reason have you to be morose? You're rich enough. We have Jesus Christ in our life and we are rich enough. He has given us his comfort. He has given us his strength. He has given us his salvation. We have reason to be merry, and we have reason to sing. If you have reason to be merry, you have reason to be heard in this world. And you need to tell others just what God has done for you this last year. As all of us know that God has come into our lives has been part of this life, and we need to share that with the rest of the world. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you that you have given us so much. We want to thank you that you have provided us with life, with comfort, with strength, with salvation. We want to thank you that you have done so much more than that in sending us your Son. Lord, we pray that you would help us to sing the songs of salvation, and if not to sing, at least to tell our friends and our relatives and our families and everybody that we meet just what you have done for us this year. Lord, we thank you. We are a grateful people. And Lord, we pray that that gratitude would come out in our words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.